Hey, how long you be married to Tung? I be married for 32 years. And you be live in Hanoi all that time? No, we be live in Ho Chi Minh City for eight years and move to Hanoi after that. Hello again, I'm Katrina, and welcome back to this mini grammar series at ucan.vn. We've got a great topic today, the present perfect tense with verb be. You may have heard some mistakes in grammar in the opening dialogue. Stay tuned to find out what they were. However, before we start, I have to remind you to scroll down and click on the link under the description or in the comment section too, watch the whole video and check the answer keys, do more exercises for further practice, download the video with subtitles, Vietnamese translation and mp3 file and study everywhere and anytime without internet, and watch more and download hundreds of listening and speaking lessons by native teachers. Now, let's get started. As you know, our topic today is the present perfect tense with the verb to be. We use the present perfect to refer to something that started in the past but is continuing still in the present. We also use the tense to talk about something we have done more than once in the past and are continuing to do. We are focusing on the verb to be, so let's review our conjunction of be adding have as will be used in this grammar form. Take a look. I have been. You have been. We have been, they have been, he has been, she has been, it has been. Your sentence will use this structure. Subject plus have or has plus past participle. Here, let's look at an example. Take this information. Chang was born in Hanoi and has always lived in Hanoi. She's 23 years old now. This information could be turned into a present perfect sentence with the verb be easily like this. Chang has been in Hanoi for 23 years. Easy, huh? Okay, let's try another one. Let's say you moved to Da Nang in February and it's June now. How might you put that into a present perfect sentence with the verb be? That's right, like this. I have been in Da Nang for four months. Now we know how to make a present perfect sentence with be in the positive form. So how about the negative form? That's easy. We just change have or has to haven't or hasn't with this structure. Subject plus haven't or hasn't plus past participle. How might that look? Let's change a previous sentence. Chang in Hanoi for 23 years. Did you come up with this answer? Chang hasn't been in Hanoi for 23 years. Let's try the sentence about you being in Da Nang. I in Da Nang for four months. Can you determine how to make this sentence? Exactly. I haven't been in Da Nang for four months. You're doing really well with this topic. We now know about a positive and negative sentence in the present perfect with be. But there's one more thing I want to talk about today, and that is making a question. 
When we make a question with this form, the structure changes a bit. It turns into this. Have or has plus subject plus past participle and of course a question mark at the end of the sentence. Let's take Chang again. Has Chang been in Hanoi for 23 years? Or have you been in Da Nang for four months? Wonderful work out there. So, do you remember our dialogue from the beginning of the video? There were a lot of mistakes in it. Hey, how long you be married to Tony? I be married for 32 years. And you be live in Hanoi all that time? No, we be live in Ho Chi Minh City for eight years and move to Hanoi after that. What corrections can we make to fix this dialogue and put it in the present perfect with B? Hey, how long have you been married to Tung? I have been married for 32 years. And have you been living in Hanoi all that time? No. We lived in Ho Chi Minh City for eight years and moved to Hanoi after that. Great! Did you notice that the last sentence was not present perfect? It was just the past because the action of living in one place concluded. Let's move on to a short conversation to practice what we've learned here today. Listen one time and then you can practice. Hey, have you been watching the news today? No, I haven't. I've been busy studying. What's happening? Well, there has been a lot of talk about the upcoming summit. You were born to be a reporter, Ling. This doesn't interest me at all. Now you can try reading this conversation. Read for Cheng. Hey, have you been watching the news today? No, I haven't. I've been busy studying. What's happening? Well, there has been a lot of talk about the upcoming summit. You were born to be a reporter, Ling. This doesn't interest me at all. Excellent work with that. I think you're ready for the quiz, so get out your paper and something to write with. In this quiz, I would like you to make a present perfect sentence with B, based off the information given. You will need to write it down so you can check your work later. Here we go! Number one. She in Rome for five years. Two, they in Rome this year. Three, you to Italy. Four, he in that shop for eight hours. Five, it raining a lot today in Hanoi. How do you think you did? Check your answer by clicking on the link attached under the video description section. You can also download the video with its script and mp3 file for further practice. Well, that is all we have time for in this short lesson. I hope you have learned a lot. I look forward to seeing you next time. We'll be looking at the word order in forming questions so make sure to return for the valuable information. Please leave comments on the lesson today to let us know what you think. And if you find the video useful, 
Click on subscribe to get more and more interesting lessons by Native teachers. We are adding new videos every week, so get involved. Oh,